Education is one of the most important foundations in our lives. Influence can be found from family and friends, but teachers greatly partake in our process of development. Alongside with their hard work and dedication, we can recognize them with their sacrifices for our success. The underlying issue that we face are underpaid now, teachers. Not so good news for Hawaii. We ranked number 51, falling to the bottom of the list as the worst state for teachers. Hawaii also ranked number 51 for lowest annual salary based on cost of living. According to an article published by USA Today states that about 1,200 teachers in Hawaii resign every year leaving the education department scrambling to fill positions in the statewide school district. This is happening in our own community. Let's get some insight from James Campbell High School's representatives. My name is Barry McCorkle. I am the vice principal for the Academy of Creative Media here at James Campbell High School. My name is Maria Walsh. I am the counselor for the Academy of Creative Media at James Campbell High School. My name is Abby Karen. I'm a student at James Campbell High School. Why do you think being a teacher is important? I think te being a teacher is, is one of the most important jobs in the world. Yeah, and I think the main reason for that is that teachers are the ones that are preparing the next generation to run the world, to make the world a better place. Um, teachers are where it all starts, and I think that lives are changed for the better or for the worse, uh, depending on, on how teachers inspire that next generation to move forward. Um, you know, all, everybody that goes through the school, they're going to be our lawyers, they're going to be our doctors, they're going to be our politicians, they're going to be our engineers, they're going to be the ones that, that create art in the world. And if we're all doing our jobs over here, um, boy, those students are going to go out and, and make the world better. For me, it was because it was something I was passionate about and something that I actually, you know, really enjoyed working with students. Um, and it was the only thing I could picture myself doing every day. But overall, in general, why teaching is important in society is because of the impact that we have on the future generations. So, you know, our quality of teaching, the way we interact with the students, the content of what we're, you know, um, basically sharing with you all plays a huge role in you know the our future and our society and the way you guys go out and possibly make a difference. Teachers make an impact to our generation because and every generation because um, in the career pathways that we choose teachers are always going to be teaching us how to become that. What inspired or influenced you to become a teacher? What inspired me to become a teacher, um, you know, the route I took was, I, I had studied, I, I was planning to go to law school when I graduated college. That was my plan. Um, so, you know, sometimes when we go through life, we open up different doors for ourselves and we discover different passions in different ways. So um, I had lived in, and worked in, in Japan for a short time um, teaching and I, I really fell in love with it. Um, you know, I loved inspiring uh, students. I loved the, just the idea of showing somebody something that they didn't know before um, and seeing them in turn show others. Um, I really loved that. So, you know, when I came back to, to Hawaii, I, I chose to pursue a different path. Actually, my um, early childhood education class that I took here at Campbell High School. So when I was a junior here, it was the elective course, which is still offered today. And I really enjoyed it and it inspired me to, to want to work with kids. And I mean, even prior to that, I'd always enjoyed babysitting and stuff like that. But it was really in high school where I found my passion for working with children. And then over the years, it kind of just turned into where I'm at today. What are some difficulties being a teacher? There's a lot of difficulties being a teacher. Um, you know, one of them is is just the simple cost of living, right? Um, where there there are certain expenses, right? We study often. Most of your teachers have master's degrees, which means they went on to college and then went on further than that. Uh, many of them even went on further than that. And there's there's cost and time that they spent in in studying those skills. So um, I think it is hard for a lot of teachers when 
they've got to work second or third jobs to make ends meet in order to pursue their pursue their passion. Um, there's a lot of red tape, right? What that means is there's there's a lot of extra hoops often that, that teachers need to jump through um, in order to do the best thing for for their kids. And I think that that can be frustrating as well, right? Um, sometimes we need to make it easy for our teachers to be able to to teach and to, to provide awesome opportunities for you guys where, you know, what, what we end up doing sometimes is, is giving a lot of extra hoops for them to jump through in order to get there. I think one of the huge things that I found to be difficult in the classroom was the amount of energy and effort you put into something that doesn't have a lot of reward in return. So you put so much of your heart and soul and you dedicate so much of your time and it, there are a handful of moments and a handful of students who make it all worth it, but there's also a lot of negativity and a lot of un <laughs> the very, very underappreciated. So that's something that was a struggle. How does being a teacher consume your time? Um, well, as a teacher, there's, there's a lot of responsibility, okay? So, um, you know, what happens in the classroom happens well because of the planning that happened before that, right? So if that lesson plan and that unit and that assessment and all those other things weren't planned out in advance, it would not be a good lesson, okay? And it would show. Students, we never know what kind of things are happening at home for you guys. So there are things that are going to come, you know, unexpectedly into the classroom that as a teacher, you know, you, you, you are expected to be able to address and take care of and nurture and make sure that everybody is feeling safe and learning. Um, so it's wearing many, many different hats, many different roles um, and knowing when to switch between which one. So um, there are a lot of difficulties um, that teachers need to overcome to be successful in the job. Do you financially struggle by being a teacher? Um, as a teacher, I did. I, um, yeah, I worked, uh, I worked in there. I was here consistently till almost six o'clock every day. So I would get here at seven o'clock in the morning and leave at about five thirty, six o'clock at night. Um, and so yeah, and I would take work home on top of that, so it would be on the weekends. Now that's also beginning teacher stuff, but until you can figure it out and figure out how to not do that, it does take a couple years to kind of get your system going. Um, but even, you know, by my third, fourth year, fifth year of teaching, I was still, I would actually force myself to leave no later than four so I could have somewhat of a life. <laughs> Did you, or do you have a side job other than being a teacher? No, my, my life, my hobby as a, as a administrator, this is it. So I am, uh, I'm full-time vice principal and that's, that's a 24 seven job. So, um, it's not really possible, easily possible to take a, to take a, take a second job. Um, you know, I'm a full-time parent as well. So, you know, um, all of my other energies usually goes towards time with my kids. In my opinion, um, teachers should get raises because they're not being paid enough to support themselves. I Again, because of the financial support that I get from my dad, which is really rare at my age, so I am very grateful for that. Like I know how huge that is. Um, I didn't have to, but I also did not become a teacher, a full-time teacher, until five years after I completed my teaching license and program, and that's because I made really good money doing private tutoring after school, and then just working as a part-time teacher. So I actually didn't, I didn't feel the desire to have to work full-time, because I knew once I was working full-time, I would have no flexibility, you know, just the, the amount of time that I would have to dedicate to it. So for five years, between my two part-time jobs, financially, I was actually doing fine. And But I didn't ever have to take on a second job once I actually became a full-time teacher. 
do you or did you financially struggle by being a teacher? Yes, I do, even now. So counselors and teachers were on the same pay scale. So me moving into this position, it was not a pay raise. It was actually, I am more in debt now because I had to pay to go back to school to get a second degree in counseling since I already had one in teaching. So people think I'm crazy. They're like, okay, so you're going to spend $60,000 to get another degree to do something that's not going to give you more pay. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm super fortunate that even at 35 years old, my dad still helps me. Um, but I actually make monthly payments to him to finance my education now. Um, otherwise, there's no way I'd be able to afford to do it. Do you think raising the teacher's salary equates to better results towards their performance and the student's performance? I, I do think it's going to help, but I don't think that's the only thing that we need. Um, you know, I, I think raising the salary is going to do a couple of things, right? Um, it may make it easier for teachers to actually spend all of their, their time working as a teacher versus having to go wait tables or things like that. So more time and energy can be spent in actually planning those, those great lessons and things like that. It also opens a wider net of applicants. So I think more people will be enticed to become a teacher or less people will be knocked out of the profession um, because of, of, of salary. But I, I think it's a lot more than that. I think public perception has never been lower um, towards, towards the teaching profession. And I'm really surprised about that. Um, you know, when sometimes, you know, I, I see on the media and things like that, where um, I think there's a negative perception that that's really unfair um, towards teachers. And I, I think that can be, that can be a burden to carry. Um, and it can be, it can be heavy. So, um, yeah, nobody impacts lives. No other profession impacts lives. Um, more than teachers, except for being a parent, right? Um, so I think we ought to try to change that perception. Absolutely. And it's not because teachers are financially motivated. You don't go into this profession because of the money. Like, and if you are naive that you're going to be compensated with money for the time and effort, then you were misinformed about this profession so but once you start and you realize like wow like this take it takes so much out of you it really does and to know that on top of that you have to worry about financially struggling how you're going to support your family how you can even afford you know semi-decent nice things to have to add that on top of the stress of the job, I think is really unfair and it really undermines you know, who we are as professionals. So it's not, it's not about like, oh, teachers are greedy and we just want more money and that's all we care about is the money. It's like, no, we put so much of ourselves into helping our students that we shouldn't also have to worry about how we're gonna pay the bills. They honestly do because a lot of teachers that I know personally, they don't like their jobs as much as they probably would if they got paid the amount they deserve. Teachers should be paid more due to their hard work and dedication towards the youth. This goes to showcase that teachers do more than what is asked. Without teachers, we won't be able to build a solid structure of knowledge and discovering ourselves in the process. It is our responsibility to change every teacher's future that nurture our own to begin with. Let's make something of ourselves that is beneficial for generations to come. Difference starts with you. We are the future.